Rachel here, Director of Music at the Church at Highland Park, and welcome back to Hymn of the Week. I like to call this one Calm Before the Storm Edition. Every week, you and I get together and we talk about some of those good old classic hymns. We talk about the music, the text, the meaning, and the history behind these fantastic hymns that sit in our hymnal each week. And I'm so excited to share with you today one of the greatest classics that sits in our hymnal. This week, we're going to talk about Rock of Ages, one of the classic gospel hymns that we find in our hymnal and brings such joy and history to it. So I'm very excited to share this story with you, Highland Park. Let's check it out. Rock of Ages, cleft for me. Just like last week, I know this one's already singing in your head. What a classic hymn from our hymnal to talk about this week. We get Rock of Ages from 1776 from a fantastic writer and quite the outspoken minister, a Mr. Augustus Toplady. And Mr. Augustus Toplady is such a character. Here we have Augustus born in 1740 to a father who died in the war and a mother who spoils him crazy. We have quotes from his childhood friends who say he's sick and neurotic because he's so spoiled up through his young childhood. But by the age of 11, something clicks in Augustus's mind. He decides he is spending his life for Christ. And by the age of 12, he's out there preaching. He's got all of his sermons to anyone who will hear. At 16, he's officially converted to Christianity in a service that is immaculately held in the back of a barn. But at 22, he finally gets ordained as an Anglican priest. Now, Augustus, as he grows up, I said he's quite a character. Augustus was a staunch Calvinist, and he hated John Wesley. He thought John Wesley was the worst thing that happened to religion. And there are so many quotes about him saying that John Wesley's word is noise, and it's just wrong, like raucous chatter. <laughs> He had no good thing to say about John Wesley. And so you get to 1776, where we get Rock of Ages. And the words for Rock of Ages are actually a hit at John Wesley. You've got Rock of Ages left for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side, which flowed, be the sin double cure save from wrath and make me pure. Augustus wrote this at the end of an article that slammed John Wesley. I, it destroyed him. And John Wesley made it through and Augustus made it through. And poor Augustus died at the age of 38. And the, the irony of this whole story, my friends, is that when we get to John Wesley, and we look at some of the greatest John Wesley texts, there is a quote in one of his books about the Lord's Supper. In the preface, he writes this quote, O rock of salvation, rock struck and cleft for me, let those two streams of blood and water which gushed from thy side bring down pardon and holiness into my soul. Augustus wrote the text that was on John Wesley's mind. And I think if he was alive to hear it, he probably would have rolled in his grave or he'd have done something quite, quite ridiculous. But for a man who hated John Wesley so much, they both thought of this metaphor of God, that he is the rock 
of salvation, the rock of ages. And I think that's something that calls us to this hymn. We need a rock. We need a foundation to call our our security and our safeness. And they couldn't have said it better. Rock of ages, cleft for me. And that, my friends, is Rock of Ages, written text by Augustus Toplady and music by Tom Hastings. I hope you enjoyed our hymn of the week this week. It is such a pleasure to come to you each Wednesday and to share some of my favorite stories about hymns that we sing all the time and that sit on our hearts. I hope you enjoy this week. Be careful of the weather outside and stay safe and stay healthy. Have a great one, Highland Park, and I'll see you next week.